Hey all your sons, this is Prajesh Chaudhary Quantum Guru. In this video, I'll talk about how to calculate moment of inertia of a uniform equilateral triangular plate about an axis that passes through its center mass and perpendicular to its plane. Without using integration, using only the symmetry arguments. So here I have this equilateral triangular plate PQR, its mass is M, side is A, and G is an AOR axis of rotation that passes through its center mass and perpendicular to its plane. So uh, we have to find its moment of inertia. Let me call that moment of inertia to be I0 and that's what we have to calculate. So let's proceed. So once again that is the same equilateral triangle G is the axis passing through center mass and perpendicular to its plane. So let me mark three points A, B, C. So A is the midpoint of PQ. B is the midpoint of uh, PR and C is the midpoint of QR. Join AB, BC and CA. So that will divide the whole equilateral triangle into four congruent equilateral triangles. So we have now one equilateral triangle ABC that let me call that part one. And this is the equilateral triangle PAB part two. This is the equilateral triangle AQC part 3 and this is the equilateral triangle BCR and that is a part 4. So I have divided the whole equilateral triangle PQR into four congruence equilateral triangles. So we can write these four are the congruent triangles. And we had assumed that the, this moment of inertia is I0. Moment of inertia is a physical quantity that is a dimension of mass times the length square. For a particular shape, it has a certain formula. In anything, in any shape, the formula is some number into mass into some length square. So let me assume that its moment of inertia is some gamma m into a square. Uh, gamma is some number that we don't know and that's what we have to find out. So now see uh, carefully uh, the bigger triangle PQR and the smaller triangle the part 1 ABC. For both G is their center of mass. G is the axis that passes through center mass and perpendicular to their plane. For this triangle also and for this triangle also. So G is the axis the, that passes through their center mass and perpendicular to its plane. So the same formula that applies to PQR that will also be applicable to ABC. The only difference is that the mass will be different and the side will be different. If the mass of the whole triangle, this bigger triangle was M and these are four equal parts. So mass of ABC is obviously uh, one four. So if the mass was M, so this mass is M by four. And if this side is A, this side is A, so this side is A by two. So the moment of inertia of this part P A B C that is part one about the axis G is gamma times of m by four into a by two whole square. That means gamma into m a square by sixteen. And uh, we assume that the gamma m a square is i naught, so that is basically i naught by sixteen. So moment of inertia of this, if this, the moment of inertia of this bigger triangle is I0 about G, so moment of inertia of this path is I0 by 16. Okay. And now, so that's what we had already got. And now let me once again write the total moment of inertia that I0. This total moment of inertia is about G is the sum of the moment of inertia of part 1 about G, moment of inertia of part 2 about G, moment of inertia of part 3 about G and moment of inertia of part 4 about G. From symmetry it is very clear that part 2, part 3, part 4 are symmetrical with respect to this axis. So it means the moment of inertia of part 2 about G, same as moment of inertia of part 3 about G and that is same as moment of inertia of part 4 about G. And I1 about G is I0 by 16 and all these three parts are equal. So we can rewrite this equation as 
i not in place of this i am writing i not by 16 and all these three are equal so i can write three times of i2 about g and for the simplification that will go here and it will become 15 i not by 16 so 15 i not by 16 is three times of i2 about g so i2 about g is 5 i not by 16 and that will use letter and now uh, let's look this part now g is the center mass of the whole triangle and this g is basically the axis passing the center mass and perpendicular to plane so for this part uh, let me call axis g dash that passes through its center mass and perpendicular to plane so that is this g dash so whatever is the moment of inertia of this part about g is the moment of inertia of this part about g dash so i2 about g dash is equal to i2 about g i1 about g and that was basically i0 by 16 and let's do some simple geometry just let let me say that the distance between this axis g dash and g is d these two are the parallel axes and let me draw this line and this line and see carefully this angle is 30 degree this angle is also 30 so that angle is 60 degree this is 90 so this is 60 and this is also 60 so triangle a g dash g is a it's also equilateral triangle so here everything is all about equilateral triangle in this problem so it means that g is equal to a g or a g dash and see this triangle a b c in an equilateral triangle of say side x the distance from a vertex to its center of mass or centroid is x by root 3 so a b c is an equilateral triangle of side a by 2 so the distance a g that is a distance of a vertex from its centroid that will be a by 2 by root 3 and the same thing is d so d is also a by 2 root 3 and now let me remove the unnecessary parts so for this part i want to find the moment of inertia about g for the part 2 i want to find moment of inertia about g and uh, that will do using the parallel axis theorem so moment of inertia uh, the g dash at center mass g dash at axis passing to center mass and parallel to axis g so moment of inertia of part 2 about g is equal to moment of inertia of part 2 about g dash plus its mass into distance square its mass is n by 4 and d is this i2 g i2 g we had obtained i2 g we had obtained 5 i naught by 16 and i2 g dash is i naught by 16 just put these values so 5 i naught by 16 is equal to i naught by 16 plus m by 4 the mass of this part is m by 4 and d is a by 2 root 3 whole square so take this on this side that will be uh, 4 i naught by 16 mean i naught by 4 and that will be ma square by 48 so i naught by 4 is ma square by 48 so i naught is ma square by 12 and that's what we wanted so without integration we had obtained the moment of inertia of a uniform equilateral triangle plate about its center mass and perpendicular to its plane is m a square by 12 that's our answer thank you